It's time for another blistering report from the front lines of the cultural war for a constitutional America. And now, here's your host, Charles Benninghoff. FBI Director James Comey may have let Hillary Clinton get away scot-free last year on the investigation into her illegal email server by the FBI. But what happened to the perjury investigation? Hillary's perjury investigation was intended to be a separate investigation into clearly false statements she made under oath to Congress. Criminal investigations don't go away simply because of a presidential election, and yet it's been nine months since the House Oversight Committee supposedly sent a referral to the FBI for a criminal perjury investigation against Hillary. So what happened? Well, we don't know. We don't know if the referral was even sent. Ah, how you like that? Did the FBI refuse to investigate? Why hasn't the House Oversight Committee updated the American people? These are important questions. Now that Hillary Clinton has emerged from hibernation to start campaigning for the 2020 election, as reported by the Daily Caller just the other day, I think the public has a right to know about this criminal investigation against her false statements. So I'm going to take a trip down memory lane today and show you evidence of Hillary Clinton lying under oath to Congress. We'll also view the promise from the House Oversight Committee that Chairman Jason Chaffetz made to have that investigation launched. And then I'll give you the chance to demand answers from Congress about this investigation that may or may not even be taking place. We've got to find out. Why does our network of patriots speak out on issues like this to Congress? Well, because it makes a big difference. The recent Obamacare debacle is the perfect example. House Speaker Paul Ryan's Obamacare bailout bill, which would have propped up Obamacare for years to come, went down in defeat because the American people spoke out 50 to 1 against that bill. Now the Republicans are going back to the drawing board, and hopefully they're writing a real repeal bill. We need to bring this kind of pressure against Hillary Clinton to stop people like her in the future from cheating America and prospering by doing so. You can be a big part of these efforts to restore America to greatness if you subscribe to my YouTube channel and sign up for my newsletters. This way, we can all speak out, and I will be explaining to you the rest of this video why we should speak out. Now, turning to the Hillary Clinton perjury investigation. FBI Director James Comey let Hillary Clinton off the hook on espionage charges for housing an off-the-books secret email server in her bathroom closet, even though the New York Times reported that her server was probably hacked by multiple foreign countries. The perjury investigation, which I'm referring to, is entirely separate from that previous investigation. This new investigation, which Chaffetz promised would occur, which may or not be happening, is centered around one question, which is, did Hillary Clinton lie under oath to Congress? Let's take a look at the evidence. Here's a clip of Hillary Clinton's testimony before the House Select Committee on Benghazi, which took place in October 2015. Former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton was being questioned by Republican Congressman Jim Jordan from Ohio. Took, take a look at what she said. Why'd you mention the Secret Service agent? Out of just an abundance of being transparent. Tra transparent? I, I, but by, and how, what's the relevance to protecting from classified information? There was nothing marked classified on my emails, either sent or received, and I want to respond. Use the right term there, use marked. Yeah, that's the one, that's well, what you revise, that's use the revised statement there. As reported in the Washington Post, and as stated by FBI Director Comey himself, when he was letting her off the hook in July of 2016, there were in fact 104 classified emails that we know of found on Hillary Clinton's server that was in her bathroom, including 22 emails that were marked top secret. That's not even counting the 33,000 emails that she erased with BleachBit, a deep electronic file erasure program, the use of which clearly shows criminal intent in instances like these. Clinton said under oath to Congressman Jordan that there was no messages marked classified on her server. Comey contradicted Clinton, and all published media reports contradicted her as well. 
They were classified emails that were on her server. Therefore, it appears pretty clear to me that Hillary Clinton committed perjury. That led to the following exchange between the House Oversight Committee Chairman Jason Chaffetz and FBI Director Comey in July of 2016. Take a look. Did you review the documents where Congressman Jim Jordan asked her specifically? And she said, quote, there was nothing marked classified on my emails, either sent or received, end quote. I don't remember reviewing that particular testimony. I'm aware of that being said, though. Did the FBI investigate her statements under oath on this topic? Not to my knowledge. I don't think there's been a referral from Congress. Do you need a referral from Congress to investigate her, her statements under oath? Sure do. You'll have one. <laughs> You'll have one in the, in the next few hours. I may not be an FBI agent, but it seems like this should have been the fastest investigation in FBI history. She lied on camera in front of the entire world in televised hearings. You saw it for yourself. Yet there were no charges filed against Hillary Clinton. You got to ask yourself, as I am asking myself right now, what happened? Why hasn't Congress and Chef has updated the public on this matter? Was that just another show for the camera in an election year? Or did the Oversight Committee actually forward a referral to the FBI for investigation, as Chaff has so clearly promised to do? We have nothing but unanswered questions on a matter that should have been resolved months ago. Frankly, it should have been resolved before the election last year. It could have been. All they had to do was force the FBI into making the investigation. Yet we hear nothing but the sound of crickets from Congress. You hear them? Cricket? Cricket? That's all we hear. So here is how you can help. Go to our action page today and start sending personalized letters to Congress. These personalized letters can be written by you or you can use the language that we provide. And in those letters, we demand answers to all these questions. What happened to the investigation? Why wasn't Hillary Clinton charged with lying under oath to Congress, otherwise known as perjury? Why hasn't the public been updated on this matter? Hillary Clinton is meeting with her donors at the end of the month who allegedly start fundraising for 2020. So now is a perfect time to demand answers to these questions. We have to put this fire out. It's beyond just seeing smoke. We can see the flames ripping out of the Congress. I hope you'll speak out on this issue today. Stay tuned on the next screen because Bob Mallory will have instructions describing how to get to our action page and once there, what you have to do to send your personalized letters. Believe me, it's an easy process. Millions of people have done it. And you know what? You can make a difference by speaking out to Congress, just like was done with the Ryan Care bill. We defeated Ryan Care 50 to 1. That's the way we should go on all things like this. This is Charles Benninghoff signing off and wishing you freedom, fulfillment, and God's many blessings. If you're on our action page on our website, use the form next to the video screen to select a program and send personal letters to Congress. If you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook, click the icon appearing now to find the link to our action page or check the video's description to find the link. Speak out today.